What's up guys, it's me again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking on another Wordle. Back to the infamous Don't Wordle that we failed to fail last time. Anyway, hopefully we will have some more success failing this puzzle. The rules are the same as last time, so let's go. Alright, good starting word. Pizzazz I still kind of like, even though it didn't work out last time. Let's just try it again. Oh, we do have an A, okay. That's not so bad. If we figure out what the word is quickly, we can undo and then, you know, because use the A more often, because if you put a yellow in a bunch of wrong positions, that saves other letters that you don't have to use in their spots. So this isn't the worst thing we could have had. What should we do next? Something with some other bad letters would be nice, like quack or something. Oh, we can't do quack, the A being the right spot. We could do aquas. That's a little better, but S could still be in the word. Let's just see where this takes us. Okay, A is at the beginning. There's no S, though. So there's still tons of options. It could be something like Acorn. It could be something like Alone. It could be Agile. Alien. Tons of options. Awoke. Okay. But there's only one A, so we can't guess two A's again. Here, let's try Arrow. I feel like that's a decent one, and it's also probably not the answer. Good. Okay, 102. We might have to do some undos here. I do want to figure out what the word might be, though. Let's just try alien to see. Eight. Okay, okay. We're at the point now where we can probably figure out what the word is. Maybe it's ached. Could be ached. I really want to guess one more, but I feel like this might be it. Okay, it's not ached. Good. Okay, we have to use all five undos now, but I'm pretty sure I know what the word is. Okay, there's one word left. What is it? Uh, there's no CH or D here. So, what is it gonna be then? Abby? Is this a word? Like that? I think this is a word. And I also can't think of what else it would be, so let's just assume it's Abby then. We're gonna undo everything back to the start. Okay, so the good first guess then would probably be something like... Uh, maybe something with... Well, we, wanna, we need to abuse the heck out of O, U, and I. We need to use them all a ton and once each. Like one letter, one vowel per word just to get rid of letters. So maybe something like poopy? Oh, well, that has the Y. Maybe mm, poppy isn't any better. We could do rotor. I mean, that's not terrible. It doesn't have any letters in the answer. And it also only uses three letters, albeit they're deep, pretty good letters, so it's a little risky, but... Let's just think, if we do rotor, then we could do something like vivid, and then we could do something like lumps. Mm, I don't know about that. I feel like we need to get the A in there early, just so we can waste letters with it being in the wrong spot. And maybe even the E. Actually, E early might be easier than A, because E fourth is not that common in five letter words, so. Here, let's do groan. I think I like that a little bit better, because that still leaves open the possibility of some better letters. I know, well, that does use the R and the O anyway, and it's only, is, is it really better to use G, W, and N than T? You know, whatever, let's do rotor. Almost pause that we're gonna get nothing here. Yep. Okay, then we can try vivid. This should also give us nothing, and again, not very many good letters. Now we might have to start using some real letters. So maybe something like, oh, I can't do guava. We could do Q-U-A. Quack isn't terrible, because this would only give us the yellow A, and we could still use the A in three other wrong positions. So this isn't the worst word we could do. Because obviously after this, we're going to have to resort to just A's and E's, but I can't think of too many words. I mean, okay, here, we could do plump. That's the other option. Plump, or we could do humph. Humph isn't too bad. Or we could do fluff. That might be better, actually. Because then after fluff, we can still do words that have A and E. We just basically have to avoid B and Y, because those are really the only two letters that are really constricting in this situation. Here, let's just do fluff. I like this word. Yeah, nothing as expected. So I think the word is Abby. Ooh, you know what? We could do hyena, actually. That isn't that bad. Because the Y is in the wrong spot, so we could put the Y... We could do, okay, we could do hyena, then we could do pay -E, like pay -E, sorry, pay P-A-Y-E-E, -E, and that would still have everything in the wrong spot. Actually, it would, have, it would put the E in the right spot, but then we could do, 
Is there a something something else, E-Y? Yeah, then we could do Aki, right? I think that works. Let's do Hyena. 25 words left, then we'll do Pei, which should be valid. Yes. Then we do Aki. That isn't how you spell Aki. Right. It's like this. Oh, we did ached before, not achy. Oops. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Now, thankfully, there are two words left, so there is something we can do that doesn't lose the puzzle, but I don't know what it is. It's probably something like this. I just can't think of what the word is. Oh, you know, no, we can't do KG. The A would be in the right spot again. I mean, the only other option is that the A is... No, the A has to be... Well, I don't think the A is going to be fourth, because then you'd have, like, probably this. I don't know what that's going to be. And we can't use two E's again because we've already used two E's. So we have to have one E. If we have two A's, it's going to be like this. I don't know what that word would be. So it's probably something like this. It's very possible at this point that the word we have to deal with is not a very common word. We might, we might just have to try random things like that that look like they could be words and, you know, see. Six and a half hours later. Oh! We got it! Absi. Apparently that's a word, I don't know what it means, I was just trying everything. But yes! We did the dough wordle! That was incredibly close after I made the very dumb mistake of forgetting how to spell achy, but you know what? We did it, and that's all that really matters. So, hope you enjoyed everybody. If you did, please like and subscribe for more. I would really appreciate it if you could do that. Ring the bell so you don't miss a beat, and I will see you next time.